Hi, I'm Andrew Moy. Today I want to talk about casting with a two-handed fly rod and a saw. Really, I want to show you how to use a two-handed rod and a saw. Today I'm casting with a Beulah Surf Rod. It's an 11 foot 8 9 weight. I'm using an 11 12 beach line from Airflow. And you're probably thinking 11 12 sounds really heavy, but this rod is going to handle about 500 to 550 grains, give or take. And uh, this particular line comes in at 535 grains. And uh, it's called an 8 9 weight. And it really is like fishing an eight or a nine weight. I mean, it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit more rod, but it's it's not like fishing an 11-12, even though we're using an 11-12 line. And the advantage to that is that the 11-12 line has a lot more grains and can carry further and, and, a, and carry a bigger fly further. So it's really an advantage in the salt. The other advantage to a two-handed rod is that when you make your back cast and you stop the rod, unlike a single-handed rod, it doesn't put torque on your upper hand. Because the bottom hand is here to stabilize the rod, it really takes a lot of pressure off this. So for guys that are going through rotator cuff surgery or just people that want to cast with less effort in general, uh, it's really a great tool. So real quick here, I'm just going to go over um, the basic cast and how to execute it. Now, if we're in the salt, generally what we're going to do is we're going to have the rod under our arm or we're going we're to strip our running line in. And very often we're going to bring that the fly very close because sometimes there's stripers very close in the surf here. So I'll bring that in close. What I can do here is form a ring and put that line in a ring there and just sweep the rod out to the side. Now I don't have water here, but if I had water, that line would go through my hand very easily. Now I've got the head of the line out of the rod. I roll that up to the surface and I just do a short flat backstroke, lift the rod up and cast it out. So let me go over that stroke a little bit in detail. And you can see how, how quickly you're back out into the salt. So now I've left the head of the line out of the rod. I, I didn't bring it in for now. Now I'm just going to go over the basic cast. So in any cast, any, any uh, fly cast, whether it's single hand or double hand, whether it's a spay cast, or in this case an overhead two-handed cast, we want to make sure that we track the rod in a straight line. And one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you stabilize the angle here. Okay, and you can't see it now because the, the rod's behind my arm, but basically the angle here, if that angle gets big during my backstroke, it's gonna cause the rod to over-rotate. So I wanna make sure I keep that angle as I make my backstroke. And I'm gonna keep the rod tip very low, very flat on my backstroke and short. When I say short, I'm not gonna bring the rod tip very far back, right there. That's all I need on my backstroke. And the key is to accelerate. Move the rod tip faster and faster to an abrupt stop. So again, it's going to be a, a nice smooth acceleration. Start slow, accelerate, and stop. And when I stop, it's a nice short stop. And I'm, again, I'm controlling this angle in here. So it's a short stop. And then I lift the rod, and I execute my forward cast. By lifting the rod, it puts the rod into a firing position where you can comfortably cast the line from. It's very important, really in any cast. I don't care if it's a single hand cast, a spade cast, you should learn your firing position. And it's really one of the best things to learn first because if you, know you, under if you understand your firing position, it really helps your cast develop and come together. So if I were to do a single handed cast, and this rod's light enough for me to single hand cast it as well. If I were to do a single hand cast, I would really focus on the same stroke. It's low and short, right there. Lift the rod up and cast it out. So if this were a single-handed rod, that's exactly how I would cast it. It's really the same way as I did with two hands. The only difference is I'm double holing with my bottom hand now, rather than holding the rod. This is more fatiguing to cast with one hand, but I just wanted to kind of show you how they relate. Same stroke, low, lift the rod, cast it out. When I lift the rod, that, that rod tip is elevating up into the air above the fly line. The fly line is sent back low on a flat backstroke, and by lifting the rod, it gets the line, by having that flat backstroke, it gets the line low, and then when, by elevating the rod tip, it gets the rod tip high. So I got a low line and a high rod tip. It really is able to flex and bend that rod really well, really load the rod. And that's where all that energy comes from. So again, one more time, we're gonna go real flat, short backstroke. Accelerate the rod. There, lift it up, and forward. Now watch my firing position. I stop the rod, and I lift the rod here, I open the angle up a little bit. So on my backstroke, when I finish, you can't see exactly on that, but my angle is very small. That's my stop point on my backstroke. 
that's my firing position to go forward from. So short and flat right there, lift the rod to a firing position and cast it out. I'm Andrew Moy from Tight Lines Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching.